Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Once upon a time, it has always been the dream of Chinese people to build a domestically produced large aircraft. After all, China does not want most domestic manufacturers to be low end assembly foundries. European and American countries can harvest the world with their technology monopoly, but can't China do the same? It's okay now. The global civil aviation market is about to change. Previously, there were no options for commercial airliners in the world. There were only two types, Airbus and Boeing. Each large aircraft sells for more than 100 million US dollars, plus maintenance and repair costs. It is relatively luxurious for poorer countries and regions to use aircraft. However, now that the domestically produced C919 large aircraft has entered the market, the future civil aviation passenger aircraft market will have good prospects. Since the world's first civil aviation passenger aircraft took off from Florida in the United States in 1914, the development of civil aviation passenger aircraft has gone through 110 years. Then in 1916, Boeing was born, and it has become one of the largest aircraft manufacturers in the world today. Boeing Aircraft not only manufactures civilian airliners, it is also a supplier to NASA and is also very powerful in the military field. So from an objective perspective, Boeing Aircraft are indeed very powerful. Across the world, wherever there is an airport, you can basically see the shadow of Boeing Aircraft. It wasn't until 1970 that Boeing's biggest enemy, European Airbus, was born. Although it was much younger than Boeing, it was very competitive. It soon eroded many of Boeing's markets around the world. Over the years, the two companies have had frequent competition frictions, often accusing each other of unfair competition. Until recent years, these two companies have dominated the global civil aviation technology market. Boeing also entered China in 1972 and established very close cooperative relationships with many domestic airlines. And with the continuous development of China's economy, China's demand for civil aviation passenger aircraft is also increasing every year. With such a huge money tree, Boeing will not let it go easily. But everyone in China also knows that 800 million shirts were exchanged for one airplane. Seeing tens of billions of dollars being given away in vain every year, and having to look at other people's faces when buying other people's planes, this will make anyone feel angry. Another thing that makes people particularly concerned is that even though they spent a lot of money, the quality of Boeing aircraft is not that flawless. Boeing aircraft have been involved in constant accidents for decades. For example, as recently as January 5, 2024, the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX actually experienced a door falling during flight. The moment the cabin door fell, the huge pressure difference between the inside and outside of the cabin instantly sucked the passengers out. Fortunately, the plane had just taken off and was only 5 kilometers above the ground, and all passengers were wearing seat belts. So there were no casualties in the end, but it was clear that the accident also frightened the people on the plane. Just a week after this incident occurred, Japan Airlines had another accident on January 13th. 
or a Boeing 737 found a crack in the glass in front of the cabin during flight. At that time, the captain was so frightened that he broke into a cold sweat and immediately flew the plane back to the airport. Not only ordinary commercial airliners have had accidents, but even the plane on which U.S. Secretary of State Blinken was traveling has experienced malfunctions. When Blinken was about to fly back to the United States from Switzerland, an oxygen leak was discovered on the plane before boarding. Fortunately, it was discovered early, and Blinken finally changed planes to return home. No matter who you are, the plane you fly on will break down, so everyone is treated equally. However, while Boeing aircraft continue to have accidents, China's domestically produced large aircraft have been spreading good news. First, China completed its first commercial test flight in May 2023, and then in less than a year, China received more than 1,200 the speed of placing orders is not bad at all. Moreover, the first answer sheet submitted by China large aircraft received extremely excellent scores. Not only did the aircraft look stylish and beautiful, but the ride experience was also well received. In the future, after C919 has accumulated a certain amount of navigation experience, it will continue to improve itself and create better ride comfort for passengers and its advantage in seizing the market will be even greater. Even the US media Bloomberg has published an article saying that as a substitute for Boeing aircraft, the temptation of China's C919 is becoming more and more attractive. Even the US media has begun to speak favorably for China, and now the Boeing aircraft is probably burning with anxiety. No matter how Boeing views China's domestically produced C919, it will not affect China's ability to expand production capacity and seize foreign markets in the future. China is expected to occupy 3% of the global narrowbody passenger aircraft market by 2027. China does not want to become a fat man in one bite, and every step must be done in a down-to-earth manner. A few decades ago, it was something that many people would not dare to imagine that China could build its own civil aviation aircraft. But now China not only manufactures them, but also sells them. This is something that China should be proud of, and there will definitely be more things like this in the future. If you agree, Please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it.